Doctor Who is the longest running sci-fi show on television. The series started in 1963 and got rebooted in 2005. And I am a big fan. So I was very happy to see that LEGO actually made a set out of these amazing series through LEGO Ideas. The LEGO Ideas Doctor Who set is a retired set, and that means you can't buy it through LEGO itself anymore. Fortunately, there are many vendors who still have it, so you can still get it. Also, the price is not completely ridiculous, like some of the other retired sets, so that's a good thing. The set itself consists of two parts, the TARDIS itself and in the, the inside of it. Of course, the control room wouldn't fit inside the TARDIS build itself, since the TARDIS is bigger on the inside, and unfortunately, we do not have Time Lord tech. So we're going to take a look at the TARDIS first, and this is really what the TARDIS is supposed to look like. Lego got the color right, which is very important for all the fans, but also provided some prints on for the outside. For instance, there's the sign which says push to open, and the doctor always pulls. And also the iconic windows and the police box signs. Now these are all prints, no stickers. There are actually no stickers in this set, so that's a really big plus in my opinion. Now the build itself is rather easy, but that's expected of a simple structure like this one. I actually only have one doubt side on this part. It doesn't open on the front, and that's something I would really would have liked to see. It does open, though, on the back. So if you pull off the top and lift two parts of the police box signs, you can actually open up the back. The inside is not all that interesting, even though I do like that they added the inverse of the front doors. The real kicker here is that you can actually attach the, uh, the control panel on the TARDIS itself, so you get the bigger on the inside feel of it all. And the design looks rather familiar to fans of the show, because it looks a bit like the interior of the Eleventh Doctor, who is actually included in the set, but we'll get to that later. But that really ni matches up nicely. So I love the overall look of the middle section. I think it's really clever how they built this up to get the right shapes in there, because it really does look like the real thing. So on the console itself, there are some pr uh, tiles with prints on them, ex including some uh, exclusive ones. For instance, there's a 2x2 two two round uh, piece with a print on it, and screens. And the screens also feature some exclusive prints. Now what it all does, I don't know. It's probably some timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly stuff, as the Doctor would say. But it's nice to see all the random things on the console that the Doctor usually has on there, and try and figure out what it all does. Luckily for us, like I said, the Doctor is also present in this set, so he can actually fly the TARDIS and we don't have to try ourselves. Actually, there are two Doctors in this set. The 11th, played by Matt Smith, and the 12th, played by Peter Capaldi. Now, this is obviously a TARDIS that is flown by the late 11th Doctor, since Clara Oswald is also in this set and not Amy Pond or Rory Williams. Or Pond. Because he married her and, according to the Doctor, he is now named Rory Pond. I agree. So the minifigs look really nice in my opinion, since it's really easy to see who is who, and as a fan you will immediately recognize these three characters from the show. So the outfit of the 12th Doctor which he's wearing actually was used in only one episode of the show. It's nice to see him in this, but this also makes him different from the previous minifig we got in the LEGO Dimensions set. It does make it maybe a little bit harder to recognize him though, but yeah, I like, I like the outfit. The Eleventh Doctor does look more like the actual actor, or the actual Doctor. Uh, his hair looks really good, his outfit is just right. I mean, this is what he wore for most of the episodes, including the bow tie, because bow ties are cool. I am also really in love with Clara Oswald. The prints on this minifig show an impressive amount of detail, and this is an outfit we have seen more than once on the show, so that's really nice. It's really hard to capture her face in a minifig, though, and that they didn't really get that right. Because the actress really has, well, a really unique kind of face. And you can't really do that in Lego. But I think the overall minifig really does look good. Also included in the set are some bad guys. You have two Daleks. And yes, one of mine is missing its hat. Because my cat got it and I don't really know where the top part is right now. So that's a small exp expedition I still have to do. Overall, they do look nice though. Um... I think they might be a little bit skinny and not, maybe not round enough, but that's a hard thing to do for LEGO, so I'll take it as it is. I do like how they use the studs to make the balls on the actual Daleks, and they could have done with them a bit more, but I really like that small detail. The third bad guy is a Weeping Angel, so don't even blink. 
Now, this minifig has exclusive uh, prints for the torso and the skirt. It also has a new face. Well, two actually. One shows you the angry angel. The uh, second one is the more serene angel that you see a lot with her hands in front of her face. I also like the wings on the back that really finishes the whole thing. And now you just have to keep your eyes on this because the image of an angel becomes an angel itself. So I'm quickly going to fade to another screen. Now the Lego Ideas Doctor Who set is actually one of my favorite sets from Lego, Lego Ideas. I love the Doctor Who, obviously, but I really do think they didn't uh, do think they did a nice job to show off the TARDIS. It was a nice idea to attach the console part to the actual TARDIS, although I do kind of miss the walls, but you can't have everything. But it really captures the bigger on the inside look. Also, I think the details on the console are very, very good, including like some console parts on the, the, the rails, uh, the, the console parts in the middle. It really looks good. So, um, yeah, no, I think this is a really nice set. And let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. So that was it for me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'll be back on Tuesday with a video showing off a new mock I'm working on. I'm going to keep it on the wraps for now. But if you follow me on Instagram, you can already get a few sneak peeks. And I'm going to tell you more about it on Tuesday. So if you don't want to miss that or any future videos, hit subscribe. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.